Matthew 19 and verse uh, 28. Matthew 19, verse 28. Listen good. Listen good. Listen up. And Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration. Ye which have followed me in the regeneration, the coming back, the resurrection, the kingdom. Come on. When the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory. When the Son of Man shall sit in his throne of glory. Ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Mm -hmm. And everyone that hath forsaken houses. Everyone that hath forsaken houses. Or brethren. Or brethren. Or sisters. Or sisters. Or father. Or fathers. Or mother. Or mothers. Or wife. Or what? Or wife. Or wife. Or children. Or children. Or land. Or land. For my name's sake. For my name's sake. Shall receive in a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. So in the kingdom it says we gonna inherit how much? So ooh, let's let's break that down. Let's examine that right there. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me look at it. Matthew 19, 20. Okay. So now read verse 28 again. <laughs> and Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in that throne of his glory, he also shall sit upon twelve thrones. Judging the twelve tribes of Israel. So, who was he talking to first and foremost? Let's break. Let's see who he's talking. Who he's talking to? The apostles. The twelve apostles, right? Now, Deacon Abiel was hitting me with this uh, a while ago. I, I haven't brought. I think we might have brought. I don't think we did. Second Ezra's. Now, remember, I want you to keep in mind. Christ told the twelve, "You twelve, which have followed me in the resurrection." The regeneration, regeneration. Mm -hmm. you shall sit upon 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel, right? Okay, let's start at 35. Verse, um, second Ezra chapter 1, verse 35. Your houses will I give to a people that shall come. Now, that people that shall come, guess who that is? That's us, thank you. Seemed like these brothers didn't know. They thought the Chinese was rolling up in there. <laughs> We're the people that shall come. That's us. Like right. I thought Amalek was rolling up in there. Come on, read it again. <laughs> Your houses will I give to a people that shall come, mm -hmm. which not having heard of me, yet shall believe me. Which not having heard of me, yet shall believe me. Growing up, we didn't know that Christ was black. We didn't know the Most High was for us. We didn't know we was Israel. We didn't hear about this. Too recent. Go ahead. To whom I have showed no sign. And the Lord ain't show us no signs. We didn't see the seed, the great Red Sea part. We didn't see the dead raised. Okay? We didn't see um, Christ walk on water. We didn't see none of them signs. Read it again. No. To whom? To whom I have showed no signs. Yet they shall do that I have commanded them. Yet they shall do that. I have commanded them. Come on. They have seen no prophet. They have seen. We didn't see Isaiah, Jeremiah, Micah, Ezekiel. We ain't seen them, brothers. Go ahead. Yet they shall call their sins to remembrance mm. and acknowledge them. Yet we shall call our sins to remembrance and acknowledge them. We ain't going to hide them. We ain't going to be deceitful about it. We're going to call it straight. Lord, I'm guilty of this, that, and the other. I am guilty. Have mercy on me. Forgive me. Come on. I, I take to witness the grace of the people to come, whose little ones rejoice in gladness. And though they have not seen me with bodily eyes. We have not seen the Lord with bodily eyes. Yet in spirit they believe the thing that I say. But in our spirit, our minds, our hearts, our soul, we believe the thing that the Lord God Almighty has written to us. Go ahead. And now, brother, behold what glory and see the people that cometh from the east mm -hmm. unto whom I will give for leaders. Watch this. Abraham. Abraham. Isaac. Isaac. And Jacob. And Jacob. Oseus. Hosea. Amos. Amos. Micaiah. Micah. Joel. Joel. Abadias. Uh, Abadias. Who was that one? Obadiah. 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 Thank you. I was mixed up on that one. And now jo these are Greek names. Abdias is Obadiah. Go ahead. And Jonas. And Jonas. Nahum. Nahum. Abekah. Habakkuk. Zephaniah. That's Zephaniah. Agaius. That's Haggai. Zachary. That's Zechariah. Malachi. Malachi. 
which is called also an angel of the Lord. Mm. So them 12 brothers, he said, I shall give you them leaders. Let's go back to Matthew 19. I don't know if y'all put the piece of the puzzle together yet. <laughs> Matthew 19, 28. Yes, right. Let's see if Christ got amnesia all of a sudden. Mm. Matthew 19, verse 28. And Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, he also shall sit upon the twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. But Christ, wait a minute! We read in Ezra, you said the mother cats. Regeneration. <laughs> Regeneration, that's the key word there. Regeneration. There's no mistakes. Okay. The people to come. Your mind ain't right. There's gonna be mistake. Right. The Bible don't have no mistake. Everything we say. The people to come is us. That's what Ecclesiastes said. That's right. Neither shall they be in the remembrance of those which are to come after. Exactly. Now we in verse 29. Matthew 19, 29. Verse 29. Now remember Matthew 19:29. He says, everyone that has forsaken houses, brethren, sisters, father, mother, wife, children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold, and shall inherit eternal life. So when is this going to take place? The kingdom. So now, verse 29 again. I'm going to break. Let's go through this. Verse 29. And everyone that hath forsaken houses. So houses. We're going to get how many houses? A hundredfold. Did y'all forget already? We just read it. So. If you've forsaken your house, it says, in the kingdom, you shall receive a hundredfold. Give me that in Luke 19, verse 18 and 19. Let's see what he meant by that. Lord, I'm confused. I forsake my house, Lord. My wife didn't want to repent. I left my home, my house. Christ said, don't worry. You're going to get a hundredfold. But how? How is that possible? Hmm. Luke 19, verse 18. And the second came, saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained five pounds. The wisdom, the understanding that you gave me, I've multiplied it, Lord. I've used it to bless your people, Lord. Come on. And he said likewise to him, be thou also over five cities. So your reward, you shall be over five cities. Can you, that's too much for a black or Latino to understand. That's right. You're going to be a leader over five cities. Cities. Some you can't even run your own house. You talk about a city. Five at that? Uh, I want to bring uh, a real point that Malik had made a couple, like a couple years ago. He made it. He made a. He made. He, he actually explained to what you were saying. How many boroughs are in New York City? Five. 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 Mm -hmm. Right. How many people are in New York City? It, it was about eight. It was five cities. That's right. That's an example. Imagine you, the leader of all this. You, as the leader, you got to give them the law, the commandment. You, got, you are, you are the judge, the jury, and you are law enforcement. Executioner. You're the executioner. Brother, you. I don't desire the office of a bishop. Or a <laughs> right. You see how foolish that is. That's all. Oh, read that again. <laughs> and the second came saying, Lord, that pound hath gained five pounds. And he said, Likewise to him, be thou also over five cities. 19? That's 19. Okay, now, so that's how, and remember, it said, You shall receive a hundredfold about houses. That's all yours, brother. Y'all see that? Yes. Now, go back to Matthew 19 again and 29. I'm going to go through each one. Matthew 19, verse 29. And everyone that hath forsaken houses or brethren. Brethren, go ahead. Or sisters. Or sisters, go ahead. Or father. Or father, go ahead. Or mother. Or mother, stop there. So we want brethren, sisters, father, mother. How are we going to get a hundredfold? Anybody know? Anybody got a piece up for me? Joel? Um, that goes back to Isaiah's. No. no. 49. <laughs> First Timothy, chapter 5, 1 and 2. How are we going to get a hundredfold mothers? How are we going to get a hundredfold fathers? I don't understand. First Timothy 5, 1 and 2. First Timothy 5, verse 1. Rebuke not an elder, but entreat him as a father. So an elder is to be entreated as what? A father. Go ahead. And the younger men as brethren. The younger men as brethren. Go ahead. 
The elder women. The elder women as what? Mothers. You know there's gonna be hundreds and millions of fathers and mothers. That's right. Go ahead. The youngest as sisters. And the younger, is that it? And the younger, the younger as sisters with all purity. And the younger as sisters. Younger Right, is there a word you skip? Was there a word you skip? No, the younger as sisters. Oh, younger as sisters. So, all the young women are just sisters. That's the hundredfold. The young, the brothers, that's the hundredfold. Then the older men and the older women, those are your mothers and fathers. Yeah. Let's go back to Matthew 19 again. Yeah, and then the one you lost, the one who was sick, now you got the righteous sister, right. the righteous brother. You understand? Yeah. You can depend on 100%. You don't have to hold their hands. That goes to camp, brother. You <laughs> understand? You have to be, uh, these brothers want to be in their right mind. Friend. Exactly. You, you crying about your knucklehead mama, because she want to keep eating chitlins and shrimp. She dropped dead. You, she ain't going to be back in the kingdom. Christ said, don't worry about that. Concerning mothers in the kingdom, you're going to have a hundredfold. Mm. Huh? Now you understand how. Because the older women are going to be as your mothers. Yes. Is this also Christ explaining in Mark? I'm going to keep with the thought. Later, later. We'll get to that later, all right? Get back to Matthew 19. Mm -hmm. And everyone that hath forsaken houses, or brethren... So now we understand the houses, right? Come on. Or brethren... Brethren, we understand the brethren, come on. Or sisters. We understand the sisters. Or land. Or land. Okay, or father. Or we didn't get you confused, me. And everyone that hath forsaken houses. Everyone that hath forsaken houses, we understand that. How are we going to get a hundredfold in the kingdom of houses? He said, be thou Lord over five cities. Come on. Or brethren. Brethren, he said... All those young men, they shall be as your brothers. Go ahead. Or sisters. All those young women, they shall be your sisters. Go ahead. Or father. Those fathers, all those elder men, they your fathers. Go ahead. Or mother. Those mothers, those all those elder women, they your mothers. Go ahead. Or wife. Or wife. Mm. And notice, it's singular right there. Uh -huh. It's singular right there. But wait a minute, he already said in the kingdom, you're going to get a hundredfold. Where will we go? Where will we go? Uh oh. Uh, Corey. Isaiah 4 1. Let's hit it. This is how. Christ already told you the prophecy. Don't worry. You worried about wife, your wife. You worried about homes and houses. When I return, you're going to get a hundredfold of all them things you lost. So now we're up to the wife part. Isaiah 4 and 1. Isaiah 4 verse 1. And in that day. Stop! What is the day in conjunction to what Christ said, Josiah? The day is coming. I want the word. You give me the words he used. Don't change the words. Joel, I mean, uh, uh, Zakai. In the regeneration. In the regeneration. In the regeneration. When the Son of Man shall sit upon. How did it say? Uh, the glory. On his throne of glory. That's what Isaiah is prophesying about right here. Read it again. And in that day. Seven women shall take hold of one man, mm -hmm. saying, we will eat our own bread. We will eat our own bread. And wear our own apparel. Wear our own clothes. Only let us be called by thy name. Only let us be called by your name. I want to be known as the wife of such and such. Okay, come on. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Because our sisters got a lot of reproach on this side of the world. A lot of, a lot of reproach. A lot of evil come out of their minds, out of their spirits, because they're indoctrinated in America. Against their husbands. Against their husbands, right. That's why when Christ returns, they're going to humble down, because they're going to see, they're going to be a lot of examples. A lot of women are going to get killed in the wilderness. That's right. Come on. In that day. In that day. Mm -hmm. Come on. Shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful. Now, for the brother that says that that day is this day. Huh? Is the branch of the Lord beautiful today? No. No, I see crackheads. I see child molesters. I see pedophiles. Okay, I see rapists. I see hatred. I see slander amongst our people. Read it again. In that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful. So that day is not today, brothers. Come on. In, in that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious. And the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely for them that are escaped of Israel. Are we escaped? No. We are, of, are we are of Israel, but are we escaped yet? No. 
We still here in Babylon the Great, in the United States of America, and all the countries. So we have not escaped yet. So when a brother says to a woman, always the knucklehead black or Latin woman, see my sister, this is talking about today. And the woman says, okay, I see that. You have just gotten the okie doke. He has just knocked you out with stupidity. And now you get what's coming to you. I hope everybody understands. I hope y'all online. You single women online, I hope y'all understand. You single sisters, I hope y'all understand. Read it again. In that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely for them that are escaped of Israel. You know, uh, you know what's amazing about this scripture? You remember the elders when about the law is the law of discipline? The brother who's going to take he and do what the Lord said is the brother that Holy Spirit moved with discipline. Mm -hmm. You understand? After all that that went out in Isaiah, the brother acknowledged this is not the time. <laughs> Let me bear with the one most I give me right now. Let me fight this affliction, this tribulation. You understand? Let me fight it with him. You understand? But the brother who don't have the law as a dis to discipline him, he gonna go the opposite way in what God set up. You understand? Under Christ. Right. I'm glad he brought that, that word discipline out because that's a heavy word to me. Discipline puts a break on impulse. That's what discipline does. Discipline just like the same thing as what culture do. What culture does. When we make the statement to our people and say that the, uh, the Bible is our culture, this right here is what puts a break on impulse, which is sin. That's what discipline does. It keeps you away from impulse and sin. So in the case of what we're speaking here, impulses that's going through brothers' minds to sleep around with all kinds of, with, with all kinds of different women and trying to use the Bible to justify it, that's him just not being disciplined at all. Right. Right. That's his own sinful impulse that's governed his mind to to condemn the just the scriptures and to justify his wickedness. Right. So let's read that again. Isaiah 4 and 2 again. And we're going to read that. Isaiah 4 verse 2. In that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely for them that are escaped of Israel. So like we brought out, we have not escaped yet. We still bound in captivity. Right. So we're not escaped yet. So that day is not today.